In an earlier video, I mentioned XBase from Experiment Project, which is the best base library you can get at its price range. I thought I'd show you some more stuff from this developer, so here's Duet Pianos. This is an affordable deep sampled library containing a Yamaha C7 and C3. On their own, these pianos sound genuine and neutral, which will suit a range of genres like classical, jazz, pop and rock. The pre-transients for these pianos have been preserved rather than cut into, so you may notice a subtle delay while playing compared to other libraries. But it doesn't get in the way and still feels natural to play. You get three mics for the C7. and two mics for the C3. You can raise or lower the sustain resonance samples. As well as the releases, hammer noises, pedal noise and room noise. But more interesting are the layers you can add to the piano for different transient sounds or tonal enhancement.
This is a neat feature for experimental or cinematic scoring, where well, you can just use the sounds on their own, which is great. The library also comes with a bunch of interesting patches for cinematic scoring. At around 130 bucks, this is a pretty damn good solution for piano and companion sounds, so I'd say pick it up if you're looking for another piano library. I've also got harpsichord here, which is a great sounding versatile harpsichord at a knockout price.
I've used a few harpsichord libraries, including Spitfire's Divine Harpsichord, and while that library has a lot more stop options, I think Experimenter's harpsichord is much more present and playable and has more versatile mic options, which at 30 bucks is just a ridiculous bargain. Lastly, I've got Kitchen Kit here. This is a cool little industrial style percussion kit. And it also comes with a lo-fi drum kit. You can pick this up for 10 bucks, and the money goes to a relief fund for the areas of Italy that have been hit the worst by this year's virus outbreak. I don't know about you, but I think it's sobering to see smaller independent developers like Experimenter Project, Loops de la Creme, and Fluffy Audio doing what they can to help during this crisis, while much larger and more successful developers are just continuing business as usual. That's why I like to support the underdogs, and why I make these developer spotlights. And that's that. I'll see you next time with some more libraries. Check you later.